Well, I'm in Albany, New York, upstate about uh, three hours or so away from New York City at the home of Milady Publishing. Now, if you've been in the beauty industry for any length of time, you know what Milady Publishing is all about. I think they started somewhere around 1928. And of course, nobody in the entire world publishes more material, more textbooks, reference books for the professional beauty industry as well as other industries than Milady Publishing. The interesting thing about this group, of course, is that about two years ago, they started a brand new magazine in the beauty industry called Salon Ovations. And we are here to talk to uh, Kathy Frangi and the people at Salon Ovations about this very, very unique magazine in the professional beauty industry. I think you will be uh, surprised and pleasantly pleased when you find out what's happening with Salon Ovations. It is different, it is unique, it is what the professional beauty industry is all about. And we're gonna go in right now and find out who's making it all happen. This magazine is certainly not just another beauty book. Kathy Frangi has created a publication that is unique and one that is becoming a must buy for advertisers both big and small. I talked with Kathy at a salon and day spa outside Albany, New York to find out what it is that Salon Ovations is providing the industry and the advertisers. Kathy, why did you want to bring me to a salon here in Albany? It's a wonderful place, but why was it so important for you to talk about Salon Ovations at a beauty salon? Because this is what our magazine really is all about. This is what sets us apart. We're for the hairdresser. We're for the stylist who works every day, the salon owner who's trying to manage that stylist and that business every day. And we're about giving these salons, all levels, day spas included, the information they need to do their job, to be professional at it, to really develop and hone their skills, and to be successful. We want salons to be successful, and we provide them the information they need to do that. Kathy, what's your biggest challenge as far as dealing with your advertisers? potential advertisers in making them understand that you are different from literally I guess every other magazine in the business. Yes, we are. We're very different. I think the challenge is in helping advertisers to understand that we are salon oriented every day. We're not runway oriented. We're not fashion oriented. We're salon oriented. And we talk about fashion as it relates to hairdo, hair fashion, because that's what we're all about. I come from this setting. I come from the salon setting. I know what it takes day in and day out to run a business, to hone your staff, to get them ready to service your client and keep those clients coming back. And that's what we chose to focus on in our magazine. One of the reasons I wanted to bring you here, Rick, is that this salon encompasses what a full service salon and spa really is about. Very cool. Hair, skin, nails, body uh, treatments, and retail like you can't believe. They do a really good job and they use our magazine to uh, improve their skills, to hone their skills, to get better customer service going. Um, their clients love them. They have a full house all the time. And uh, I thought this was the prime example of what you can do using our magazine and other educational uh, opportunities. Really, um, really nice salon. Eileen Scott owns the David Michaels Salon and Day Spa in Latham, New York. I talked with her about the importance of a magazine like Salon Ovations to her business. You are actually what I would consider the least likely person to be in love with Salon Ovations. Since you have a very successful salon, you have a lot of hairdressers who have been in the business a long time, and yet you practically live by this magazine. Is that true? Yes, it is. Why is that? Tell me. I find the magazine is wonderful because it doesn't matter if you're in the industry for two years or 15 years. And like you said, we do have stylists with us and operators that have been in the industry for a long time. But we also do have apprentice program and newcomers that start with us right out of school. And I find the articles are very helpful for either end of the spectrum, whether you're in for two years or 15. There's information that is useful uh, for everybody. Mm -hmm. That's why I enjoy reading the magazine. Eileen, as a salon owner, how do you differentiate this magazine from the other magazines in the industry? I mean, there are other trade magazines. How do you make use of this one compared to what you would do with the other ones? This magazine allows us to have information given to us that is very realistic. There's a reality factor, and that was what I was most impressed about the magazine. I find that the information deals with day-to-day -day situations and things that occur, things that my stylist, myself, see on a daily basis. There's nothing that needs to be modified. A lot of times, magazines, things are so technical, 
things get so involved, uh, styles, whatnot. You have to modify it for our area, for our salon, our facility, ourselves. I understand you actually Xerox some pages. Yes, what yes, do you do I with do. That? Actually, uh, everyone on staff has mailboxes, and I put them into the mailboxes because I'm not sure whether or not they had the opportunity to read the article. If I don't do it, I know staff members have done it because they found something that was important to them and wanted to pass it on to um, co-workers. So a lot of times I may not personally do it, um, but even my staff will do that because we leave it in the break room on our uh, table so that throughout the day people are you know, going through it on break so while they're on lunch or in between clients. So the magazine definitely gets read. We spend a lot of time with our readers. I personally spend a lot of time with the readers. We listen to them. We ask for their advice. We ask for their opinion. And what we found out is there are some things that are universally true. All salons want to do their services better. And they want to learn new techniques, whether it's a salon like this with 10, 12, 15 stylists, or it's a one or two man operation. They want to service their clients better. They want to hold their technical skills. Basically, overriding everything about the business is the fact that these are service people who want to serve and want to do it well. And so we gear the articles and the editorial based on what we're told by our readers. We watch the trends, we watch what's happening. Sometimes we gear it towards a bigger salon, sometimes we gear editorial towards a smaller salon. But in general, the information can be used by anybody who wants to do business better. <laughs> In a minute, we'll meet the man behind Milady and find out why this industry giant has put all their support behind Salon Ovations. But first, let's talk reader response to advertising with Midwest sales manager Karen Weddington. Advertisers want to be in a book where they're going to get response. Um, I think in the communications as well as the uh, cosmetology industry, you've got to get your message out there and get it out there quickly. And you have to have some sort of way to gauge it. But when advertisers go in the book, they get instant response. Let me give you an example. A couple of weeks ago, I was in Ohio visiting with a, a major manufacturer, and at that time, he told me that, really, the magazine had delivered for him. He, I'm using his words, and it's rare that you hear an advertiser say that. What he was responding to was the fact that he had been appearing in the hot news section of Salon Ovations magazine, and he said that every time he got a response, the responses were overwhelming, and he's appeared in at least 13 out of 16 issues of the magazine. So we're very excited to have him aboard, and he will be with us for the next year. So it's exciting to be the publication that can deliver for people. You know, one of the things about uh, any magazine, of course, is the design. And when it comes to Salon Ovation's design, we like to call it inviting. It's friendly. It's a little bit uh, cleaner than we're used to seeing. But what's really unique about the design is the fact that it changes. And it can change. And I won't say it a moment's notice, OK? But it can change relatively quickly. Kathy, I brought you a trophy. I don't know where it was, but I found it on the other side. <laughs> oh, OK. Let's talk about that for a second. You can just put your trophy down there. Thank you. It says, Kathy Frangie. Publisher of the Year, 1997. Hey, not this bad. This is a huh? good thing. I paid a lot of money for, for next that. year. <laughs> Let's talk about the um, the design because this is an inviting magazine. It is more open. It seems to be easier to read, and yet you say you can change this, and you do on a regular basis. We do. What does that mean? What it means is we listen to our readers when they tell us they need specific information. We can change our direction and provide it for them, and we keep providing it in this open, interesting, inviting, easy to read way. Now, somebody mentioned this back page, for instance, on this particular this issue. Prime example at of your what service. we're talking about. Yeah, we did uh, focus groups and reader surveys and things over the last year, uh, and what we found out was our readers wanted more information on customer service, how to provide it, how to do it better, how to keep doing it, and how to monitor how they're doing it. So we decided that every month we would do a column called At Your Service, and every month we talk about a customer service idea or theory or tip, and here it is, quick, easy format, uh, cute graphic, and it's easy to read and easy to implement. How important is the design of your magazine, you think, in, in the scope of the competition, the industry, what the hairdresser needs to see? How much do you think about the design element? We think about it constantly, and it's one of the things that's at the forefront of our thoughts because we know in a busy salon, a salon owner or a stylist can't stop what they're doing to th thumb through a magazine and try to find the rest of the article or find this piece that they want to read. Um, so we make it easy to read, we make it easy to find, uh, we keep the article short uh, and to the point. They're very concise. Kathy, recently the NCA, the National Cosmetology Association, made a move yeah. uh, from, I believe, a 75-year relationship with the magazine to Salon Ovations. That has got to be a major feather in your cap. It's a major compliment to us and to the work we're doing here. 
Um, this organization who I admire throughout my cosmetology career, I've been a member of NCA since I got my license 13 years ago, decided that after our second issue, we were publishing the kind of publication they wanted to be affiliated with. Um, we focus on education, as you know, and that's also their mission, and I think they felt that um, our missions are aligned in a way where they would be proud to be a part of our group, and, and we're certainly proud to be a part of their organization as their official publication. I asked advertising sales manager Kathleen Travers how the new association with the NCA will change the demographics of the magazine. Initially, our reader was in the industry up to about five years. Kind of the young hairdresser. Emerging student, yeah. um, beginning in a salon. Now, half of our readership includes the NCA membership. Half of those are salon owners, very mm -hmm. coveted market. Mm -hmm. And the other half are people in the industry up to about 15 years. So these are people well into their careers, well into the salon business. Right. This must be an exciting place to work because the growth has been Pretty phenomenal. What, you started, what, 12,000 subscriptions? Right, just a year and a half ago. And now? We're up to 80,000. 80,000? Yeah. That's a tremendous amount of growth. Absolutely. What do you attribute that to? Why do you think it's growing so fast? Um, I mean, you are the circulation. <laughs> you should know this answer. Why do you think it's growing so fast? Well, I think we have a great magazine, and the more we get out there and let people know and let people see it, and Word of mouth, people, you know, they sign up at schools and then they, when they graduate they go out to their salon and tell everybody about us and the enthusiasm gets out there. I asked Milady's president, Gordon Miller, to explain the three distinct levels of this beauty industry giant. There's a Milady that everybody knows and, and that's our core educational product, uh, the, the business that we've built for 70 years that goes to schools, to students and instructors and supports their education. About three years ago, we started Salon Ovation's professional division and Salon Ovation's magazine. The professional division um, produces books, produces professional reference products, audio books, videotapes, specifically to help the professional gain more knowledge, more information in building their career. Salon Ovation's magazine is, as it says, a magazine, something that comes out 12 times a year, again, supports the the, the dreams, the aspirations of both the young cosmetologists, the professional experienced cosmetologist, and, um, and furthers our mission in, in changing the way people learn. Visiting Salon Ovations was quite a revelation and we had a great time. Kathy Frangi and her entire team have created a magazine that is sure to become the new industry standard for editorial and for education. Salon Ovations just might be the advertiser's dream. In a nutshell, the magazine is doing all the right things. We started publishing with 12,000 readers. Today we're at over 80,000 readers. We have the NCA as a part of our membership. This is a group of people who are very experienced and if we weren't providing the information they could use every day, day in and day out, they wouldn't be a part of our readership. We have a lot of wonderful advertising opportunities for advertisers in the coming year and it's a time for them, it's a chance for them to put their money where their mouth is. We deliver a product that educates and is truly used by the industry and they keep saying they want to educate the industry so they'll be better at their business and do their career and have a longer career and all the rest. We do that and the place to advertise with that in mind is Salon Ovations Magazine. It's time once again for a Spotlight segment here on Profiles, and with me is Joni Ray, the President, Founder, CEO, Chairman, everything at Joni Ray and Associates, correct? That's right. You are everything there. <laughs> Otherwise, it would be just Joni Ray and Joni Ray. Ray. Speaking of which, this industry, I believe, is aware of the fact that you probably are the best at what you do. I mean, when you look at, at projects in this industry, brochures, package designs, marketings, marketing concepts, you carry them back, inevitably, we find Joni Ray. Well, we specialize in the package design and uh, then end up carrying it through to all the sales materials and the point of purchase displays and we strategize and buy media and lately we just added a new service. Uh, we are now doing publicity. A tremendous amount. I want to talk to you though this time about some of this collateral material because you do some terrific paperwork <laughs> stuff. Um, you have done, of course, some package design, logo design for ABBA, which we have, we have all seen. But this brochure, I guess this is what, a retail kind of brochure. How did this come about? What is this for? It is a promotional piece that helps the salon present the ABBA products to their customers. In 17 different languages. In three different languages. <laughs> three yes, different. A, in French, Spanish, and English. 
You do that too? Mm -hmm. We do the translations. We write the brochure. We design the graphics. We help position each of the products. We uh, supervise the printing. We get the printing prices. This is one of the best looking pieces that I have seen. This is for Zegarelli. You've done some great stuff for them. This is uh, says targeted care for hair. And this, I guess, is an entire product program brochure? This is a very interesting piece, Rick, because it is intended to be used by the distributor salesperson to present the products to the salon. It's intended to be a selling piece. It's got each of their individual deals in there, but what's particularly interesting about this piece is it's spiral bound, so as new products come out, we can easily add them into the brochure. There's a pocket in the back that uh, helps hold all the salon programs, the price list, and any kind of new deals that may be available. Let's talk about the cutting edge. New product for Zegarelli, but also almost a new category, different yes, challenge. Right. This is one of the most exciting products I've been involved with. The company came up with the name The Cutting Edge and a very unique delivery system, Rick. It is a multifunctional product. It acts as a cutting lotion, a thermal protectant, and a light volumizer. It starts out as a liquid, it turns to a foam, and Zigarelli spared no expense in creating all the materials that the distributor and the salon need to be successful with the new product. This piece called Inhale the Benefits, Aroma Floria. Beautiful, huge, four, what is this, 18 color piece? <laughs> this is an amazing piece of work. Well, this is an interesting piece, Rick, in the fact that the executives of the company really knew how to present the products, but they needed a tool that would help their salespeople present the products in the same manner in which they did. So we presented a brochure that talked a little bit about the history of the industry. It talks about the technicalities of aromatherapy, and it helps present the product. Let's talk about um, Jordana. This is a company that few years back, what, had one lipstick product? When we first started with Jordana, Rick, they were a dollar lipstick company. I think they had one line of lipstick, Beauty's Best Buy. Mm -hmm. And today, they must have eight, nine, ten different lines of products. We created catalog sheets for them. And anyone who is in the catalog color chart business knows how difficult it is to create shades in a color chart. We literally sat down with the lipsticks and, and designed each one of these color charts with the actual lipsticks and then photographed them and matched PMS colors. Joni, when a company wants to uh, make use of your services, who typically makes the call to you? Marketing department, sales department, who do you deal with? We work with different clients in different ways. Sometimes we work with the marketing department. Sometimes we work directly with the owner of the company, and we are their marketing department. We typically work on a per-project basis, although some clients hire us by the hour, and some clients have us on retainer. Joni Rain Associates is a team of 23 people that know what we're doing and don't require babysitting and hand-holding and are there to serve the beauty companies. You know, the fact is this woman can probably do something for your company because you do it better than anybody. I mean, you are probably at the top of your heap, you know that? Right? Joni Ray and Associates, the premier person in uh, marketing, uh, product development, new logo, package design, public relations, advertising, campaign development, you name it. She does it, and she is darn good at it. You can reach her at 310-286-9940 in Century City or uh, at JoniRay at AOL.com. Email. Joni, thank you for being with us. Oh, thank you. Always Rick. a pleasure, and we'll see you on the convention floor. You got it. We'll be back with more profiles right after this. Nice. Hey, listen, don't go away because when we come back here on Profiles, Leland Hirsch, the world's most famous hair colorist and the only man in the professional beauty industry that has made a profit selling an empty bottle. This is a really good trick, Leland. A lot of people want to know how to do it. We're going to tell them how Leland Hirsch has made money selling empty bottles when we come back on Profiles. Good idea. Distributors must save make, on formulations, huh? Distributors make a lot of money on it, too. It smells great. I love it. That's yeah. Good. Introducing Aloe Bear, a breakthrough method which ensures instant hair removal for the user, prolonged shelf life, and increased profits for the distributor and satisfied customers. Aloe Bear is an easy-to-use professional wax made unique by its botanical formula and alpha-hydroxy after-wax care towelettes. No equipment, heating, or other lengthy steps are needed for this breakthrough method. Aloe Bear's unequal consumer advertising campaign will ensure unprecedented success for distributors. Be a part of the success. Call Pastels International at 800-266-0088 or see them here at the BBSI at booth number 236. Well, I am in Port Washington, Long Island, New York. Beautiful area. And we have come here to talk to Leland Hirsch and uh, Michael Mazzi.
the people that started Artec about five years ago. You know, the history of this company is really quite something. These two guys were together for a long time, 25, 30 years. But for the last 23 years, uh, before they started Artec, they had the New Best Salon here on Long Island. New Best being one of the most famous salons in the whole area here in this part of New York. About five years ago, they came up with a product called Color Enhancing Shampoo. And you know, we haven't seen that many products that have literally revolutionized the beauty industry. But as you well know, Artec Color Enhancing Shampoo literally revolutionized the beauty industry. Uh, they didn't stop there. They continued to grow. They developed a whole new line of color enhancing products that are formulated right in the salon, which no one else has been able to copy, I might add. But there is something new. There is excitement here at Artec like you wouldn't believe because there is a new line that no one has seen, nobody knows about, and it's probably uh, the most exciting thing we've seen in a long time. We're going to show it to you here. We're going to visit the new best salon and show you what a premier, premier salon looks like. And of course, we'll talk to Michael Mazzi and Leland Hirsch and all the other wonderful, exciting, energetic, young, hip people here at Artec. So let's get started. The Artec excitement, of course, has been seen around the country in shows like last year's presentation at the International Beauty Show in New York. And in a moment, we'll let you in on the new secret in Artec. But first, let's meet the man that started it all, Leland Hirsch. I want to go back and talk about the beginning. How you went from being one of the most famous hair colorists in the world, which of course you still are, to where you are now. How did that all happen? It's called the vision, you know, I felt that in the future, the industry should have something that's a little different than everything else out there. And I had an idea for a new product that I thought would help salons do better. And uh, actually, I, it came from the client, from, from client washout of color, from client removing, getting beautiful color and removing color. And um, so making a product like that for myself in the salon was what it was about, so I could have it as a colorist, and then sharing it with everybody else in the world. Mm -hmm. That's how it really evolved. Leland, if you had to project that out, where do you think that's going? I mean, you started with the, the original color shampoo, now the personalized system. Where does it go from here? We're not out to just place products in a salon. We're out to gain a lot of market share in that salon. Uh, it's been done before, and we're doing it in a very, very real way, salon by salon, with good education and in a very meaningful way. For me, it's not just about the money. It's about evolving my, my colleagues to a new level. Leland, let's talk about this, because this is the most exciting thing that I've seen in a while. This is going to be a gigantic hit for you. This is called Texture Line. Texture Line. Did I just give it away? Yeah. You were going to keep this a secret, were you not? No, you can't. It's, you've got it spread out all over your desk here. It's like, well, it's out now. It is out now. This, I guess, would be the next step for our tech. This is going to move you into a new dimension. This is going to be a gigantic hit. Here's your chance. Tell us about it. What is it? Well, this is about our hairdresser part of our industry and our business. Uh, the Jamie brothers. Uh, Jamie and Vincent Mazzi and my partner Michael Mazzi. We have a very successful salon called New Best and Company. Mm -hmm. uh, 150 people work in that salon. And in that salon, we developed a very, very unique creative styling system. Uh, it's about young people. It's about the evolution of a new concept in focused, directional, creative styling. Earth conscious aerosol hairspray. Everyone at Artec is really excited about the new texture line. And I asked Artec's art and creative director about the kind of direction he was given to develop the unique graphics for the line. What did he tell you to create? What he wanted to come up with was something innovative that uh, reflected the innovative products that we're coming out with. So um, we took an editorial point of view with it and something that people were going to want to look at. With that bottle, you have to pick it up. They have to turn it around to see what it says. Unlike many companies, at Artec, sales, marketing, even promotion is driven by education. I asked Artec's education director, Andrew Bartfield, to explain. Well, as a young company and developing a product that no one's ever had before, no one's ever seen before, 
It's a belief that everyone has to have a good understanding of what the product does. Mm -hmm. As Artec, when we developed the color enhancing shampoos, there was nothing of that kind. And today it's a very strong category, but still what holds us stronger than everybody else is that everyone who uses Artec knows exactly what it does, how it works, and what, the, what it's about. And even with this new line, texture line that we're coming out with, we have a belief that yes, people have used styling aids before, but we want them to have a thorough understanding of what our product does mm -hmm. so that they can have the best benefit of the product. Mm -hmm. So through marketing, through sales, through education, everything is an educational venue right. for the product. Launching a new product takes marketing and publicity expertise, and Artec certainly has the individuals to get the job done right. Tell me what your plans are for this whole texture line concept. Well, first of all, it's going to be used as a press kit initially, and we always send out to the press and, you know, all the beauty editors have it already. Mm -hmm. And what it is is when you use it as a sales kit as well as a stylist intro kit mm -hmm. for, they have one of everything. And the whole line is texture line, <laughs> and the box is textured. And the box <laughs> is, is textured. Look at that. It's great. Right. And it has all the products in it. And this will also be used for the distributor sales consultants? Sales consultants. To and go we're going to resell it to, as sales. As an intro deal. As an intro deal. One of Boy, everything. It just seems to me you've thought of everything. Well, we try. Mm -hmm. Arlene. I would imagine that since the very beginning, as we look through this book, mm -hmm. you have gotten probably more press for this company, Artec, than anybody else in the industry. You see well, Leland Hirsch's and Michael Mazzi's name all over the place. Thank you very much. I'm glad Is to hear that. Is this easy to do? Um, easy uh, in the sense that Leland and Michael have a very terrific reputation in the industry and a familiarity with the editors from doing a lot of photo shoots mm -hmm. from the side of styling the hair. So certainly uh, when I was calling editors up, they were familiar with the names and it definitely gave me an in in introducing our tech, yes. Sure. And then I would imagine that after a couple of years of that, it got even easier. Oh, sure. So now they call me. All, yeah, we still yeah. see it all the time. Mm -hmm. I want to ask you about this. This is an okay. interesting book too. Sure. Because this is something that I've never seen from a company. This is a book full of what, like color well, tear sheets, Yeah, right? these are color copies. And what we did is we went through and picked from the press that we've received over the last five years, which is tremendous. And we've chosen the best articles, uh, a good variety of different magazines that we've appeared in. And we have this available to distributors. And it makes it a very nice tool for going around and detailing large salons or if they and have they a, an show. And they say, what is this company? Yeah, or I would think even model calls and things like yes, that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah? They say, to, they're to not sure. To let them know who yeah, they are. exactly. Well, this is it. We are finally here. This is the new best salon here in Manhasset. This is the salon you dreamed about years ago. Absolutely. You and Michael did this, what, 23 years ago? 23 years. 23 years ago. Mm -hmm. Now, is it true you've got a gymnasium in there? Yep. A, a whole physical fitness thing? Absolutely. Two floors? Yeah. A tremendous hair color area, skin yeah. care, 150 stylists. 30 colorists. 30 colorists and 17,000 clients a day? Yeah. Boy. And, and that's on a bad this. day. And that's on a bad day. Come on, Leland. I've been waiting to see this salon forever. I didn't actually believe you had a salon. Well, I told you, I don't these days you. since we did our tech. <laughs> and this is the second generation of your original product. Yes. What do you call this? Mixing station? This is a personalized mixing bar, and it's for hands free mixing. We have these grippers, and you put your bottle in it, and then you could take your shampoos and mix them right. using both hands. Ah, so once you put this down here, you right. can just unscrew it. And then the colorists can take what they want, which would be uh, orange marigold, something yeah, that I like. You don't have to take the top out. Oh, you don't have to take the top nope. out. Of course not. Silly me. <laughs> you just push the button. That's right. And do, boy, you've thought of it. And this is solid metal here. This is really great. Absolutely. Very so this scale. is what a salon would have in their color area right. to allow them to customize. And then, correct me if I'm wrong, I take this home, right? You take this home. The salon has the formula on the card. The client must come back to the must salon. Must come back to the salon to buy it. And it wheels. So I can move it to my client? Anywhere you want. Big, heavy, commercial be. wheels. Let's go over to this lady right yes, here. Yes, right here. New Best Salon is the epitome of what a professional salon should be, and Leland shows it off like a proud father. The other half of the New Best Salon is Michael Mazzi, who has been with Leland since the very beginning. You and Leland have been together for 82 years. Yes, yes exactly. And yes. the two of you started this salon. Right. Right? Absolutely. You started it. Give it to me in a nutshell. How did this come together when you guys decided to do this? How, how we got the salon together? If we were together before, we had 14 salon and we had and we had a school. So bef 
and we just decide one day to be creative, you have to be in one space. And so we needed a home as 20,000 feet space to, you know, to create. This texture line looks like it's going to be like the biggest hit in the beauty industry. Are you prepared for that? That it definitely is. But the, it's like, you know, everyone you ask, we had, I had a dream, and Leland had a dream, and the, and the dream has finally come true. And we hope in September 1st, it will be in every salon in America. I love to do hair. And he loves to do color, but he also, he, his love is to, you know, create different right. products. Right. Together, we will create a different product. I think this is going to be a big success. I hope so. Michael's son, Jamie, and his cousin, Vincent, work daily in the salon. But they'll begin traveling soon all over the world to promote the new Texture Line products. What do you think it is that makes this salon so unique and so different? Well, you know, we're very, very consistent on what we do. You know, we always believe in consistency. So, you know, we're always training our people and we're constantly staying on top of what's going on today. Constantly, we're getting our feelings from the street, from what, what people are looking like out there. Jamie and I are like brothers. We grew up together. Uh, we always had a love for hair. And uh, with my uncle, we've always had that passion to excel and do great hair and be a part of this business. Hopefully you've seen enough to know that this is an exciting company. And the new Texture Line is certainly a product that every distributor will want. Distributors are going to be beating your door down saying, there's a Leland Hirsch styling line, we want it. I'm, that's going to happen now. Who gets this? Well, you know, we're an educational-based company. And it's the companies that want to partner with us and share the education with the salons with us. And we're, uh, we're looking for uh, strong, strong distributors in certain markets that we're not in. What's your plan now? I mean, you started Artec, was successful, developed that into a very successful company. Now you've got these exciting new products. What do you want to do? What are you trying to accomplish? Our vision is to, um, to really take hairdressing to a new level. There's been many great companies that have done that, many good friends of mine that have done that, that I have great admiration for. And my partner, Michael, and I, have a vision to uh, evolve a company worldwide into uh, a great company for hairdressing. Uh, we want salons to make more money, we want distributors to make more money, and we want to have a lot of fun. This is an area of Nassau that's been around uh, as long as I can remember. It was certainly here the last time I was here. Uh, this is called the Straw Market, and of course it's not just straw anymore. It's t-shirts and beads and, and jewelry, things made from, uh, a lot of stuff made from conch shells, I guess, and they make stuff from, certainly from straw. A lot of it is, is made here in the Bahamas. It's all not made here, but a lot of it is. And you can come here, and of course, the, the best thing to do here is to make deals. They say that no matter what it is, you can always make a deal, right? A deal, S special today? Yes, sir. What's special today? The straw bag I'm working at right now. And how much will this cost me? Well, this was $20, and I'm selling it for $15 today. $15? Yes. Would you take $10? No, I couldn't sell it that cheap. $10.50? No. I'll make it $14. How about $12.50? Mm -hmm. Even it up. Give me $13. $13? Mm -hmm. Okay, how about $11.50? Not a penny more. No, I said $13. Yeah, but you said 15 to begin with. Leave it me now. You see what I mean? This woman is willing to make me an offer I can't refuse on this particular bag, which is going to have the Profiles logo in it. You do this logo? We can do it. Okay, we'll come back tomorrow for that. Okay. A what? Teresa. Okay. It's really, it's amazing because they do so many things. You can see, I mean, she's actually making this bag as we speak. And uh, this bag was going to be $47, but she's going to sell it to me for $13 or $11.75, whatever the case may be. The straw market is a great place to come here in Nassau. You can get everything from straw hats to baseball caps to, to um, conch jewelry to T-shirts to mugs made out of an old coconut. Whatever you want is here at the uh, straw market. And your name is? Dorita. See Dorita when you come. Thank you. Thank you. Hi, this is Jerry Koch, president of the ABA. I'm happy for the opportunity to talk to you about the many exciting things that are happening with the American Beauty Association this year. I won't be able to go into great detail about any of them in the short time we have, 
but please come to our breakfast Friday morning and you'll hear more about them in greater detail. The most exciting thing for all of us is ABA's entry into the age of technology. And through their membership in ABA, all of our manufacturer and manufacturer rep organizations now have available to them a web page, and we are truly on the internet. We're also taking the initiative in the area of barcoding, where our manufacturers and the ABA working together will set standards for this great area. Another very important thing is our first vice president, Ray Major, has been very successful in setting up an industry survey that will, for the first time, give you as marketers in this industry the ability to know the size of the market and consequently your market share. All of these things along with our new Members Advantage program, which gives our members uh, discounts on travel, car rental, and those type things, as well as exciting joint ventures with ICMAD, which is an association of independent cosmetic manufacturers, truly make us an, org an international organization. Our continued work with our members on government regulatory issues, all of these things coming to a head at our breakfast on Friday morning, so please come hear the explanation of what's going. Dialogue is in November in Phoenix, Arizona, and I'm happy to say the most exciting guy we've ever had, Peter Glenn, is back on the program. His program, Creating the Future. We hope you will be with us Friday. We hope you'll be with us in November as ABA helps make this industry stronger than it's ever been. Thank you. It's time for another Spotlight segment here on Profiles, and with me is the lovely and talented Sharon Hayashi, who is the founder, namesake, president, CEO, right? All of those? And then some. And then some of Hayashi Products, of course, needless to say. Sharon, what, 15 years, 13 years since you started this company? 13. 13. Did you think back then that you would ever be sitting here talking about the success of this company? I mean, did you think you were going to be this successful? Yes, actually we did. Uh, we didn't realize that it was going to come about so soon, though. You've done some pretty amazing things with your product line over the last uh, 18 months or two years, but recently you've, you've really segmented it, haven't you, to where it's three or four different, totally different concepts. We've done something that, that has taken all the guesswork out of the uh, salon's prescription to their client, and that is we've categorized um, the entire line into specific hair care regimens, and it makes a lot of sense on not only the distributor level, but from, from the distributor to the salon to the client. We're talking about System 911, right? The Hayashi line and the Hinoki line. Yes. Those three. Well, we've expanded on each system for each type of hair. Uh, the System 911, with the uh, lead product being the uh, 911 Emergency Pack, has a grouping of five products for dry damage and chemically treated hair. And we've done the same for fine and thinning hair, with the uh, uh, lead product in the Hinoki series being uh, for a th hair thickener, with the complementary shampoo, conditioner, and hairspray. And then we have the Color Shampoo series and the Classic Designer uh, Styling Tool series. Sharon, the way you have, you have segmented your product lines up into these different categories, how does that benefit your distributors? Well, if you look around in the marketplace today and you see an enormous array of products per manufacturer, a lot of it is confusing and a lot of it doesn't make sense. But by systemizing each category of product per hair care regimen, it gives the salon um, an easier way to promote it to their client. And each one of our systems for the particular kind of hair has its own package identity. Tell me about Hayashi. When you go to a salon and you're a distributor sales consultant and you walk in the door with Hayashi, what are you talking about? Well, what they say is it's a product line that's easy to sell because it makes sense. Um, like I said, with each uh, category of product having its own package identity, you're really selling a system uh, to the client for their particular hair type. And we've included five products per system. Uh, none of them are overlapping. So actually, when a client goes in and buys System 911 or System Hinoki, they're buying five products at one time. So the saleability is very simple. Does this make the distributor's job any easier? I mean, how does it make their job easier? Of course it makes it easier because um, for stocking purposes, there's no overlap per category of system, and there's no, ca um, no overlap in each category of product. So inventory control is very easy. 
Sharon, I want to ask you about Technica, but I know that you don't really deal with Technica because that's really not your side of the company, right? John handles that, John Fasson, your husband. But we caught up with the people at your exhibit in Cosmoprof in Italy, and I asked them about Technica, and they had all the answers. Watch this. Tammy, you are executive director for all of Europe for Technica, correct? That's correct. What has been the most exciting thing that you have seen over the last couple of years with this product in Italy, in France, in England, wherever you sell? What's the most exciting thing about Technica? I think that Technica really got into creating a professional line with many different styles. Each style has a specific purpose, therefore each style has um, a meaning and will give actually more creativity to the hairstylist as well because you can create new things with an accessory. This is quite different. What about education? Now, it would seem to me that because you've got these segments that you would have to maybe divide up the education to be more segmented. Is that true? The education starts with a good marketing plan and each one of the, the um, series of products has all the promotional tools available to, to market uh, via uh, salon brochures, consumer brochures, um, counter unit displays, floor displays, and everything that goes with it. And we're very proud to announce that um, at the end of the year we're opening our new academy and we have a lot of uh, educational programs and forums um, from A to Z that our distributors will be very much interested in, of course, including the, the marketing of the product. What is it you would like distributors to know about uh, the Hayashi product line? I mean, what's the one thing that you'd like them to understand? I'd like them to know that we're not only a company that makes good products, but we make sense, and we, we tailor all of our programs with any particular distributor based on their method of distribution. So you could come down here to the Hayashi exhibit on the convention floor and reserve whatever you want now from Sharon Hayashi and find out all about Hinoki and System 911 and Hayashi and we can't mention Technica, but they'd see it if they went down to the booth, wouldn't they? Yeah. Sharon Hayashi, the uh, chairman, CEO, and founder of Hayashi Products and quite frankly, one of our favorite people in the beauty industry. Thanks for being with us. We'll be back with more profiles right after this. Technica. Well, that's about going to wrap things up for this edition of Profiles for the 1996 Summer BBSI from the beautiful island of Nassau here in the Bahamas. I'd like to thank especially our good friend Connie Forbrigger and the people at Tressa for inviting us here to Nassau and showing us such a great time. I'd also, of course, like to thank all those companies that allowed us to visit with them to give you a little bit better idea of who they are and what they're all about. Special thanks also to our good friend Susan McNabb for a great job on our Profiles updates. And remember, if you just tuned in, Profiles will repeat again in just a few minutes. And once you determine that you've seen this whole show, there's another completely different Profiles program on the adjacent channel in your hotel. So uh, try to check it out. That's it from Nassau. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you next time on Profiles. <laughs>